So the most recent update in Photoshop kind of was a controversial one because of the whole AI generate fill and like the can of worms that that's opened. But one of the updates that has kind of gone under the radar a little bit is probably my new favorite tool inside of Photoshop because it just dominates the other cleanup tools. So forever when I had something to clean up, let's say we have these windmills in the background, my go-to tools were typically going to be the spot healing brush because for simple things, it does an okay job, but you notice it doesn't always do a perfect job. You see how some of the lines and the clouds don't necessarily line up. And sometimes you'll end up with soft spots or maybe the horizon line will be kind of wrong. It's, it's close, but it's not, it's not great. The, the nice part of the spot healing brush tool is that it was so simple. You also had things like the patch tool, where if you have a pixel layer, you can grab it and kind of line it up to an area that matches. But sometimes you end up with these funky, weird lines. You also had the clone stamp tool where you could go and you could clone from an area over here and then line it up. And you can sometimes with a little bit of work, get some really nice results. But a lot of that is, you know, a little bit labor intensive. I mean, it's not super labor, labor, labor intensive, but check this out. So this is the new remove tool for simple tasks like this. It is just incredibly good. It's amazing how well it does, especially around this horizon line. There's just no sign of any weirdness. And even when you get into larger objects like this, it does an, a really impressive job. This remove tool has kind of become my go-to tool for cleaning up large, distracting things or even simple things like if we go over to an image like this one. When you have things like sensor dust, it makes quick work of it. And I find that even with water spots, check this out. So a lot of times, if we were to try this with the spot healing brush tool, a lot of times the textures are just not going to be right. But with the remove tool, you don't even have to be careful. And it does a really good job of matching the surrounding textures. This is just an incredible workflow changing tool where there's not a lot of skill required in this at all. Sometimes it'll, it'll duplicate some textures, things like that, something like you would see with the clone stamp tool. And in those cases, you just pass over it again. And a lot of times you can get those textures to be random enough to where it doesn't look funny. But even in really challenging things like this water drop, I find that this remove tool, if we make a good enough sample of it, does an incredible job. This remove tool has just kind of blown my mind. I've been filming my my upcoming Photoshop uh, tutorial course, and I was ready to be kind of dismissive and, and skip over the remove tool, and it's easily become my new favorite cleanup tool. It is just so incredibly powerful. And, you know, for things like distractions in flowing water where the textures matter, if the textures don't match, it's, it becomes a problem. So the way you have to use this remove tool is you need to have a pixel layer to, to work on. And so I opened this image up as a smart object, and then I've got a couple adjustment layers above that. So we need to create a new layer and then make sure that up here, sample all layers is selected. And when we have a pixel layer and that sample all layers, we can just start to clean up things and look at how there's just zero artifacting, zero weirdness in that water. And you, you don't have to be super careful and meticulous and, and thoughtful about how you're using these tools. You basically just highlight what you want gone and it just makes it happen. It's incredible how well this tool works. If we spend a little bit of time on a really messy image like this, where there's just lots of brush and, and twigs and sticks in this waterfall, the difference it can make is pretty impressive. So just in those couple clicks before, after, and there's just no sign that we did anything. 
It, it, that's that's the thing that it's that's so impressive to me is that usually you get, it takes some finessing with those other tools to really come away with a good result. There was some skill involved, and there just doesn't seem to be any skill involved in in this. For better or for worse, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that kind of wish there was skill involved, but really it is just super simple. You just hover over what you want gone and it does it and it does it really, really well. This has easily become my new go-to for cleaning up images simply because it works so incredibly well. So if we have something like these power lines, it used to be that with a spot healing brush, you could go in and if you tried to get just one of the power lines, try to get just one of the power lines, you can see that, you know, sometimes it'll duplicate one of the other power lines. So you almost are forced into a situation where you got to select the whole thing, but then you're going to end up with a bunch of patchiness and weirdness. But if we try the, the remove tool on this same thing and just paint over the whole thing, let's see what it does. Eh, there's a little bit of patchiness there, like the noise pattern is kind of repeated. But I suspect that it's still going to go much faster and much better with this remove tool. Yeah, you see how the clouds even look, look good. The way this tool works is it actually uses artificial intelligence to try to basically generate what it thinks should be there. Kind, kind of like content aware fill, only just far, far superior to it. So these tools in Photoshop are getting better all of the time, and it's, uh, it's kind of creepy <laughs> how good it is because it's, um, it's better than anything I could have done with the old tools, that's for sure. So yeah, I just wanted to pass this on to you guys. I was really impressed with how well this tool works. Um, next time you have some cleanup to do inside of Photoshop, definitely give this a go. And it's even worth, like if you're mostly a Lightroom user, hop over into Photoshop just to do some of this cleanup because like, for example, if we go back to this image here, watch what happens if I select the entire truck. I'm willing to bet that it can almost remove the truck from the field and it'll look fairly natural. Yeah, that's creepy. It's not perfect, but holy cow, that is pretty, uh, pretty close to perfect. So there you go. Check out the remove tool. It's worth round tripping over into Photoshop to check out. I hope you guys are all well. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.